to my channel. Today, I got y'all with another Chef Nat episode. So I have not came out with another Chef Nat episode. I think the last one I did was probably like a cake pop one. It's 10.20 at night right now, so it's like, it's kind of late. I have school tomorrow. School be taking up all my time, bro. It's not even funny. For today's episode, we're making, okay, call it what you want. I don't know if it's slutty brownies, uh, a brookie, or I, I don't know what it's called, right? It's, it's basically where you mix a cookie with a brownie. You know what I mean? Like you mix the two and it's like, I've seen it all over TikTok, you have to go search it up. But I don't exactly know what it's called. I'm pretty sure it's called Slutty Brownies. But that just isn't something I'm gonna put on my title because YouTube's probably gonna demonetize this video. So, we're gonna call it a brookie. But I think a brookie is a cookie with brownie on it, not a brownie with cookies. You know what I mean, but whatever. Let's get into this episode of Chef Nat because it's gonna be the best episode. Actually, no, I have some pretty good episodes. But it's gonna be one of the best episodes, all right? All right, I'm gonna All right, so this is my chocolate chip mix that we're using because we're not doing it from scratch we ain't gonna do all that <gasps> now i think about it, i need to connect my kitchen aid but my kitchen aid thingy is on that side <gasps> we're to do it by hand this is our brownie mix so this is from this fancy ass brand that i see everywhere I, I saw this brand and i was like well let's try out the brownies to see if it lives up to the hype so i don't know which one we're gonna make oh also if there's something a good advice you want from me it is you always have a backup plan so this is my backup plan. This is some um, Nestle Tall House chocolate chip cookies. These are fire. We're gonna make those into actual cookies just in case this situation doesn't come out good. We're going with just normal basic cookies, you know? Cause I, I, I have a really bad sweet tooth right now and if this doesn't work, I wanna at least have cookies. You know what I mean? So, let's get into it. All right, y'all remember that traditional as green bowl that I always use? For some reason, well, one of them, my mom is using them, and I don't know where the hell the other one is, so we're gonna go with a clear, more professional bowl. I think we should probably do the brownie mix. All right, ingredients. Uh, one fourth cup of water, one third cup of vegetable oil, and one egg. All right, simple. Look, if you guys want more episodes of Chef Nat, I need you to tag me in things you want me to recreate. A bunch of you guys were tagging me in this. We got scissors, we got a knife. I'm kind of mad that I spent, I don't remember how much it was, but I spent a lot of money on KitchenAid to now be doing this by hand. It's kind of frustrating. Oh, that smells bomb. See, I think this might actually live up to the hype. I've actually never heard anyone talk about this mix, but, but. Um, I have seen this chocolate brand like, like everywhere in every chocolate. So, all right, so we got fourth cup of water, give or take. Dude, that was like no water. What the heck? Why is it one four? Anyways, we got the egg. Uh, my professional one hand cracking skills. I was actually really proud when I learned how to do that. Like really, really proud. Like really, really proud. I couldn't believe I was able to do that. Okay, and now it's uh, a third cup of vegetable oils. We don't got vegetable oil, but we got canola. Oh wait, we have olive too. So this is like all the oil we have left in these little thingies, right? Because we have like the big like jug. However, my mom has like the very top shelf and I don't want to take it out. So we're just, and my mom hates when we leave these empty, but survive with the fits. Oh, this isn't going to be enough. No. Wait, this is vegetable oil. What if I mix vegetable oil with canola oil? I think that's bad, right? Well, I mean, I don't see any more oil, so I think I should be fine. We're fine. <gasps> There's a huge crack at the bottom. <gasps> it's leaky. No. Let's get all the oil out there because I really don't think this is enough liquid. Like, also, I think my next Chef Nat episode is actually going to be baking my own um, 300 subscriber cake because we're getting really close to it. Like, I think we're at 294,000 subscribers. So we're really, really close. Um, so I think I'm going to make my own cake. Dude, this is too thick. It says it should be enough, but it just seems too thick to me. I am so excited. There's so many exciting things coming. I'm dropping merch. My birthday is coming. I am going to hit 300,000 subscribers. It's too too thick. thick. There's no way. This isn't even like... Y'all see this? Look at this. Like it's not even... I swear it should not be this thick. And it's hella lumpy too. See, this is why I need my kitchen. Okay, we're gonna use a spatula. 
to fold because this other method ain't working too well. Guys, this is... <laughs> I swear I'm doing something wrong. This is a fourth cup. That's what I did. Alright, we're gonna put a little more water. Just because I swear this is way too thick. Girardelli? 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 Girardelli is trying to play me. That's the brand. Correct me if I'm wrong. Actually, don't correct me if I'm wrong. Girardelli. There's a hella heat wave here in California. Like, for no reason. And it's like 100 and like freaking six degrees out here like like the other day i went the day i went shopping it got up to 106 degrees bro i was out in that heat like i was waiting in lines over here trying to cop my jeans and there was this long ass line and it was 106 degrees i know y'all think i'm playing but i'm not just search up california heat wave as of right now it's really bad and then i saw like one of my cousins lives in vegas bro tell me why they sent us a picture of the weather and it was 119 degrees. 119, like 119. That's crazy. All right, so I think this is done. You know, it's lumpy as hell, but I think it's fine. So I need to put it in a pan. So it's like a, an 8x8. I don't think I have an 8x8. I think I have an 8x9. I'm not sure. Let me check. It doesn't say the measurements, but I mean, it looks like this. It might be an 8x8. Potentially it could be an 8x8. I'm not sure though. All right, anyways. So we are going to continue. Also, I didn't pull my hair back, you know. I'm not gonna be selling these. It's literally just gonna be me and whichever one of my nosy siblings wants. Ugh. Oh, this is one of those stupid packages where it's like, yeah, here. you have to get the scissors and like cut. Oh wait, yes, it's one of those. No, it's not. Ha, I was just kidding. No smoke, baby popper. I was just, I was just fucking with you. Oh, did I cut the zipper? Oh, there was no zipper. For this, oh no, I threw the bag away without seeing the instructions. One third cup of oil, two tablespoons of water, and one egg. I got my egg right here with my handy dandy egg breaking skills. All right, we got, ew. Damn, that's hella oil. All right, that's fine. Got the oil. All right, so I don't have tablespoon measurements. So we're just gonna do it the the Mexican way and get a cuchara and do two cucharadas. One, two. Okay. Now I'm just gonna mix this together, but I'm gonna use the same spatula I used for the brownie. They're literally gonna go to the same place, so it's fine. Like it's not it's not like we're gonna mix them together right now, right? Like you know, it's fine. Aha! I'm a genius. I think one day. I will, you know, do a Chef Night episode from scratch. I potentially really should do one of those, right? That'd be interesting. This is dry as hell. Actually, no, it's actually better than the brown. Bro, those loud ass fish. Like, I'll be sleeping and I can hear that water like drip. That shit is so disrespectful. Okay, I got the mixture together, the, the dough together. Okay, there we go. So it's all mixed together. It's actually really little. I don't know what the count for these cookies are. I'm pretty sure it has to be like under 15 because it's very little. All right, so we got nonstick spray. We're gonna put hella because the last thing I want is my brookie, my slutty brownies sticking to my pan. All right, so I believe if I'm not wrong, that my brownie mixture goes in first and my brookie wait my cookie dough goes in after pretty sure that's the way it works all right so we're getting my cookie dough Dumbass. wait my brownie mix this is very little like in theory if i just wanted to put brownie in here like they would be some thin ass brownies because it's very little um Usually I've seen that they like scoop some in there, but I don't have scoopers, so we're using the cuchara, right? Okay, so we're just gonna put little spoonfuls of it. Can y'all see? I hope so. Am I supposed to mix it? I am, right? Or not mix it, but like, we'll see what we do. That looks a little bit better, in my opinion. Okay, let me show you, let me show you. So this is how it looks now. I kind of just, I use that. I'm just like, 
Low key, I think I want to pay my sister to come clean up my mess. Because I don't want to clean it. Um, by the way, my sister does get paid for editing these videos. And anything like I don't want to do, like let's say like I don't want to do my chores for that day or whatever, like I'll be like, does anybody want to do my chores for blank modeling or stuff like that? I don't just make them do anything. I'm not a horrible person, all right? I care for my siblings very deeply. It's cap. It's all fat cap. So from this, how many cookies is it supposed to make? 24. But that's cap. Usually, like if it says it'll make 24, it'll probably make like 16 or something. Never trust the serving size. It's like, have you ever read the serving size for the Hot Cheetos? Like you will never eat the serving size, right? It's cap. It's all fat cap. Um, okay, so yeah, it's 24. I'm definitely not doing 24. I will do 4, 8, 12. Alright, I'm going to do 12, right? And then I'll do the other 12 like some other time, right? And then this is already like a little square, so it's so much easier. You know what I mean? Wait, I'm going to try this. Does it say don't eat raw cookie dough? Do not consume raw cookie dough. That's not how I remember it. Definitely not how I remember it. Oh, how times have changed. How many of you guys are ready for the merch? I am trying to release a Chef Nat collection. So for those of you who love these little episodes, I am so excited. They're gonna be like the cutest hoodies ever. I'm so excited for you guys to see them. I'm so excited for you guys to see my birthday vlog. We're gonna do something really fun, hopefully. Okay, three, six, nine. Wait, if I can do one more row. Dude, this is so much easier. Why had I never tried this before? Like whenever I buy this crap, I always buy it in the tub. And with the tub, you actually have to go in and like scoop the right size and everything. No, this is so much easier. I love it here. We're gonna put these in the oven too, but I don't know if I should put it with the other one, you know? The other one's just gonna take forever, like for no reason. It's already gonna be 11. How did that happen? I don't know. My mom never really liked to make these for us when we were young because she said they had a lot of sugar. Which, I mean, she wasn't wrong, but... Never mind, it didn't fit. Which means I have to wait till the brookie is done for me to put in the cookies, are you kidding me? Ugh. So it's a waiting game now. Great. All right, I'll be back. I'm gonna go try to bribe my sister with some money. Feels so good to be so young and be successful. Open. All right, my timer is out now. And whoa, that looks brown as hell. I think that's good. All right, this is how it looks. I think I left it in for a little bit too long because it's like hella brown. While those bake, I'm gonna let like my brookie, slutty brownies, um, cool off. Because if not, it's not gonna be like as good if it's super, super hot. So while my cookies bake, y'all, it's midnight. I'm so sleepy. <laughs> I just want to go to sleep, but I got to try these brownies. Also, I'm going to hella quick bait you guys and say that I was making brownies at 12 a.m. Because it's just way more interesting if I said I was baking at 12 a.m. instead of 10 a.m. You know what I mean? Plus, technically, it's not completely a lie because it's about to be 12. So, all right, I'm going to take the cookies out of the oven. Oh, my God. Ugh, that was still hot. Okay, so um, I'm gonna cut out like a little piece of the brownie, brookie, slutty brownies, and we're gonna try it. Okay, so let's try it. So of course it's not in shape, but it's okay. Um, it's still hot as hell, by the way. The cookies literally took like 13 minutes to cook. Bro, that is fire. I did not think, oh my god, I'm like, I'm over here screaming and it's like midnight. This is so good. I did, okay. Am I making a cap right now? I did not expect it to be that good. I popped off, bro. I popped, bro, Chef Nat is just, it's elite. Sorry, it's elite. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Chef Nat. Let me know what other thing you want me to bake down below because I really need ideas. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.